FND doesn't approve it. There's a Jewish law, um, oral tradition that says any any court that gave out the death penalty more than 70 years, once in 70 years, was considered a bad court and something should be looked into them. Yeah, yeah. So because so many death penalties, they just moved out, so not to... I understand, I understand. It's very similar in Islam as well. The, the Qadi is supposed to find as many excuses before... Yeah. Not, not only that, when, when, when it comes to giving out the death penalty, if it's unanimous by all judges, mm. then they don't give the death penalty. This doesn't make sense. You can't, say, you can't all unanimously want to kill someone. There's a whole lot of rules, even after someone's been convicted, and uh, once yeah. even then, they, they send riders around the entire town where he lives, saying that tomorrow we're going to execute this man for this sin, yeah. and he was that information. And if anything happens, there's whole yeah. due diligence. To, ex to yeah. do execute someone is very, very hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that, no, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. But it's it's hard to consolidate that that it won't happen until the Messiah comes. What? So it's like what won't happen until the Messiah? Uh, these punishments. And because we don't have a court anymore. We, we can, you need the Messiah to sit in the court, right? We, no, we don't need the Messiah to sit in the court. To be a judge, you need to receive something called smicha, which is um, 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 ordained, and it has to be ordained by someone else who was ordained. So currently we don't have anyone who's been ordained with the laws of it since the destruction of the temple. There's no, there is requirements to ordain people. So since it hasn't been done, you cannot hand out the death penalty or you can't hand out any um, 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 wetting because no one's been ordained. There's no, you have to be ordained. So once we believe the Messiah come, the resurrection will come and there will be people who have been ordained. They may be from 2000 years ago, but they were still ordained. So they'll be able to pass on the ordaining. Oh, so there's a resurrection before the resu they define the resurrection of the day of judgment. No, no, it's all one resurrection. You believe in the resurrection and day of judgment. Right. We believe in different things in the, in the, in the order of resurrection and day of judgment. Oh. So do you have a day of judgment as well? We do, after death. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. No, but once the Messiah comes, yeah. what happens exactly with judgment, I'm not sure. Okay. That I'm not sure. But we believe there's judgment now when we die. You believe there's yeah. only judgment when the Messiah comes. Um, so do you believe that the Mosaic law is eternal? Yes. Forever? I, I, unless we're talking about two things of the Mosaic law. I don't know what you mean by Mosaic law because... The, so, you, so, by, so if I'm not mistaken, you have the, the Pentateuch, right? What? <coughs> you have the, the Pentateuch, the five books of Moses, right? Yes. <coughs> which in, in Hebrew is Chumash, right? Yes. Five, which obviously corresponds to the Arabic with Hamza, which is five as well, right? Mm -hmm. Then you have the, the Nevi'im. The righteous of the prophets, right? Prophets. Like uh, Isaiah and Jeremiah, etc., right? King and then, Samuel. Kings, and exactly. And then you have uh, the Kitabim. What? Uh, the Kitabim. Yes. Uh, the writings. Yes. Uh, so, um, like Kings, Chronicles, all that Psalms, as well. Psalms as, as well, right? So, and that, that, that's how you formulate the Tanakh, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, T N T N K, right? Right. So, right. So, so. You would say that the main Torah is the five books of Moses. That's the highest form of the Torah, isn't it? No, everything nope. is everything is based off the five books of Moses. Yeah, I, I understand that. It's, it's an offshoot from. No, no, all rules and regulations, so to speak, right. are based off the five books of Moses. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. And then you have the then you have the prophets, yeah. the Nevi'im, right? Which you would say that they're not the verbatim words of God, but they're inspired by God. But they do it, but they do it in their own words. So, no, it's, so not, no. it's not like the, the five books of Moses where it's the words of God. No, so the yeah. prophets is the chronicles. It's the chronicles of the different prophets. Is the chronicles of different prophets. Yeah. So, I don't remember who wrote it, but we believe in the one individual wrote all of them. I believe my memory says me right. One individual? Yes. Who, who would that be? I don't remember. Uh, Joshua, when Josh comes, would better be served. Um, okay. If my memory says me right. No, what, no, what I'm trying to say is, uh, what I'm trying to say is that the, the Chumash, yeah. the five books of Moses, you believe that every word yeah. is the verbatim words of God dictated to Moses, right? Yes. Yeah. But the Devarim, the prophets, yeah. it is another form of revelation, but it's not the verbatim words of God, but the prophets, they, they, they transmitted the message in their own words. So it's another form of like inspiration. So, you, so therefore, what I'm trying we to say... Both, we believe that there's no lesser validity in it, though. No, I understand that. I understand that. So you believe that it supplements? You Some believe, would be the right word, yeah. Okay. But then you have the Mishnah as well. That's something else. No, that's something else. But that supplements the the written Torah. No, but that we don't believe is the word of God. That would that would. I understand that because that's the that's the collections of the rabbinical, uh, you know, understandings of the law. Is it, is it like a law. commentary? But it's but, not a commentary. It's it's not a, com a commentary. Is not the right word. I don't know how to. Um, it supplements. It, is it uh, meditations? No, 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 no. So 
it, it su supplements would be the word for it, but I'm not sure, I and mean, it doesn't explain it well. What, what you, have the, you have the oral Torah, right? What? You have the oral Torah. Yeah, but that's separate. That's but you, yeah, but you believe that you have the written Torah, yeah. which you say that this, this is written by Moses uh, during the 40 nights when he was appointed with God. But you also believe that the oral Torah does go back to Moses as well. Yes. Yeah, you believe in that, right? So what I'm saying, the oral to Torah consists of the Mishnah. No, the, no, 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 no. It does. No, but the we Mishnah, no, the no, Mishnah no. and Wait. the Gemara. The no. Talmud. No, but that's nothing to do with Moses, though. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. But I'm saying that the, the oral Torah, you, you, it, it, it's, uh, what do you call it? You say that this is all an explanation from Moses, correct? Explanation of, of, of the Moses, five books. But the scholars, the rabbis, yeah. they commentate it. Yes. Yeah, so that's it is what I'm a saying. Commentary, it is a commentary. The Mishnah is a commentary of the oral and the written Torah. Yeah, but it doesn't comment, yeah, but it doesn't comment on the individual. It's not, yeah. doesn't, it doesn't comment line to line. It's, yeah. it's generalization of it, yeah. of Jewish, it's, it's, it's Jewish law in it. Yeah. But yeah. It, it gives reference to where it is, but it's not yeah. commentating words. So yeah. what's that between that, the difference between that, yeah. the Mishnah and the Midrash? Oh no, Midrash is a bit different. Yeah, what's the difference between that? No, Midrash is something else. Mm. That is... Um, That's the commentary of the Mishnah. <laughs> no, no. Yes, it is. No. no. Yeah, because... The commentary the, in the Mishnah is yeah. the Talmud. The Talmud, yeah, but Talmud and Mishnah are used interchangeably. No, no. It no. is? No, So what's not. the difference between? They're not. What, what, why not? The two, there's, a significant, there's a significant amount of time between they were written, different gen, significant generations, mm. they're separate. The reason what you may be confusing is the way the Talmud is written yeah. is that it explains, the Talmud is, is written that there's a Mishnah yeah. and then it explains it, but they're not interchangeable, there's significant generation differences and they have different standing of validity. If yeah. a Mishnah disagrees with the, with the, with the Talmud, the Mishnah is precedent. Yeah, 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 it's that different. makes sense. It's different, it's not the same. It's different and they're not They're not the same. So the Mishnah would be okay, on the, a higher hierarchy then? Yeah, 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 it's, the, uh, it's the hierarchy, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is it like the Hadith? No. Oh, but it's used? Yes. Talmud is basically, uh, if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, it's basically a rabbinical literature tradition, right? No, it's Talmud. Not. So Talmud is an explanation on the Mishnah. Okay, yeah, that's what I was saying as well. It's an explanation of Mishnah, right? So, Which so is what, it? So what, let, let it go, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The ta Talmud is an explanation on the Mishnah. The Mishnah is an explanation it's, it's on the, of the oral Torah. Of, of yes. Jewish law. Yes. It's, it's not, it's of law. This is, oh, it's, just, it's of Jewish law. All of this is of Jewish yeah. law. Yeah. It's not that uh, um, tra tradition is the wrong word. Especially nowadays, the way people use the word tradition. Okay. It's of law. It's what is the law. Okay. Yeah, I had a follow-up question. I understand you said suspension of the death penalty explained very well, but now what about the other prohibitions like uh, no alcohol and things There's like no that? no prohibition of no alcohol. So would you today you be able to drink alcohol? I drink. Yeah, I know, I know. So I, I find they, that, how do you... No, no, it, it is true. In, in, in Judaism, alcohol is not very You're not meant to get drunk. Pork is So pork, you don't drink? You don't drink? No, they, 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 they don't drink. Right? I want to know first, do you, do you eat pork? I've never tried bacon in my life. <laughs> and I have no That's, interest. I've always heard that alcohol was not allowed to drink. We can drink, we can smoke, we can gamble. Let's so, see what else we could do so that you can't do. Yeah. <laughs> no, because there's, there's different strands of Judaism. Oh, just, so there is a strand that says no alcohol? Not that I know about. What's Kabbalah? Kabbalah is oh. mysticism. Oh, mysticism. Yeah. So, so, so do you say, do you affirm that the... How can I call it? Okay, when you compartmentalize all of what we discuss, yeah. like uh, the, the written Torah, the oral Torah, the Mishnah, the Talmud, do you say that this can never be abrogated? Ever? I tell you like this. I, I'm trying to think, never is the wrong word, because God can change what he likes. Okay, okay. But what we'll say is somebody comes today and claims he's abrogating it, because God told him we wouldn't hold him in validity. But, but Rambam, uh, Maimonides, says that when your Messiah comes, yeah. he is allowed to abrogate. So when the Messiah comes, it's a separate story. Why is that? I'll, because, I don't know, I'm not sure what, because when the Messiah comes, is the, once you, we believe God can abrogate, he, as, as you believe God can abrogate what he says. Yeah. What? You believe that God can change. No, no, no. Skip by you, don't worry. Yeah. What? You believe God can change what he wants, correct? But we said the Sharia, 
can never be abrogated. Let's go. But you agree he can if he wants. In the past, but yes, but not no, anymore. No, he, so God can't even now if he wants. So God can't. No, because he, because the Quran yeah. is his last and final revelation. The last and final message of Prophet Muhammad. Okay, so gave, Sharia law will never be abrogated. He gave us his will that he but, but, I'm, but I'm asking you. But what I'm trying to understand from you: Do you also apply the same standard to to the halakha? What? Do you apply the same standard? So, so we, we say that we, Sharia law can never be changed. We apply the, Mishnah, the, the Mishnah. We apply the same standard pre Messiah days. Okay, but then do you? But what I'm trying to say is that the Maimonides does say yeah. that when your Messiah does come. Yeah. I'm not sure where he says that. He, he does. I'm not. I'm not, not going to argue because I'm not sure. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm fluent. So I'm not, it, okay. I didn't read all his writings. So, do, so uh, doesn't that mean? So, so no, but let me explain. Yeah. Once you acknowledge now, if, if he's saying that, and again, I can't comment if it's true or not. Okay. And the hypothetical, he is saying that once the Messiah comes and God can do what he likes, we've acknowledged this is the Messiah. First, you have to acknowledge this is the Messiah. Okay. So, once you've acknowledged the Messiah and this is the messenger of God, then there's no issue. Okay. Ex logically, explain logically what the issue is. Once you no, no, the issue is you say that you say that the, the halakha is forever. Yes. But then, on the other hand, you're saying when your Messiah comes, he is allowed to abrogate. No, I, like I, said, I don't know whether I don't know where the Mahmoud is saying this. I'm gonna, I'll take your word for it. Okay. Like I said, my so say I can't that. answer. But I'm saying, just from a logical perspective, once mm. God, once you know for sure it's God, yeah. then God can say what He likes. Okay. But the Messiah won't be God. But the, <laughs> no, but we. No, no, I see where he's coming from. But we acknowledge. From. But once we acknowledge this Messiah is the actual Messiah and the Messenger of God, we can take his word. How do you do that then? So we have systems. Yeah, because have, it's, like, it science. seems like uh, it may be a setup prone to someone like the Dajjal who can come and. I don't know who the Dajjal is, man. Antichrist. Antichrist. What? He can come and show you he resurrected. They don't believe in that. Uh, yeah, I know they don't, but when, when we believe in it and he comes out and he shows that he can resurrect and things like that, it would be very open for Judaism to accept it. But they do have their own criteria to determine the Messiah. true Messiah or the uh, true prophet, right? You, you do have your own criteria. Yes, yes. You, do, you do. So, uh, so if you have no problem that the halakha can be abrogated, right? In theory. In theory. If yes. you're right, then again, I got If I'm right, yeah. hypothetically, right? Then if he, if a person claims to be a prophet, yeah. but he fulfills all the criteria to be a true prophet, yeah. then you wouldn't have a problem accepting him, right? If you're right. Again, Again, it's, all, okay. it's all, it all hinges on that you, that Muhammad Aziz actually said this. Yeah, I, I think you should look into it. He, he does say that. So what, so what I want to know is, what are the criteria laid out in, in, in the Jewish uh, corpus that fulfills the condition of being a true prophet? What are the conditions? Do you know so they have to descend from David, King David. But that's for the Messiah. But what about a true prophet? A prophet Messiah. Not all prophets are messiahs. What? Not all prophets are messiahs. No, so... You're, no, but you're trying to... You, you, I understand the point you're trying to get. You're trying to get the point that Muhammad was a prophet, and so by default he's, he's allowed to abrogate it. No, no, I'm trying to see your line of thinking. Because you're, you're, because you're saying... Because a prophet he, can't abrogate God. No, we don't believe that. That's very clear. We do not believe a prophet can abrogate. But you believe that a messiah the can messiah, abrogate. The messiah. Yeah, I understand. The Messiah. We believe the Messiah. I don't know. You're saying that the Muhammad says that. I don't know if that's okay. true. If it is, the Messiah and the prophets are separate. Are two separate things. We don't believe they're the same thing. I understand that. I understand that because it, it, even in um, in Jewish literature, you, uh, there are f there are three different um, types of Messiahs. So you have prophets, you have kings, you have priests. Correct. Those are Messiahs. Yeah, there's three different types of Messiahs. No, but then none prophets. of those are Messiahs. No, no, I know you're saying the Messiah is different. We I know you're saying that. We believe the word Messiah, the word right. Messiah. But does, but does the Jewish, what I, what I do want to know is, does the Old Testament or yeah. whatever in your Jewish corpus, does it ever say that no true prophet can arise before your Messiah arrives? After the end of prophets, at, at the describe, we believe that after the destruction of the second temple, mm. prophecy ended for the Jewish people. So can you elaborate that further? We, in theory, it's possible in theory, okay. for someone to be a prophet for the non-Jews. A prophet for the non-Jews. Yes. So what's your? Now we're gonna get. Uh, now we're getting to the. So what's your view about Prophet Muhammad? If you have no problem accepting a, a Gentile prophet that was sent to to the Gentiles. Just, just uh, a question. So so so, so I want to know what's your what's your views about Prophet Muhammad? What my views of him is the wrong question. And I'll, I'll explain okay, you, go. I'll, I'll put it like this. The issue number one to discuss 1500 years later is 
I cannot, and I don't mean to be rude, no, but I'll be blunt. Come on, let's be I cannot take the Quran to be valid. I can't. Okay. For 1500 years later, and I can't take the Hadith, none of it. And none of that can be taken as valid okay. for 15 years later. Mm. 1500 years later. Mm. You ask me. So the question you are 1500 years later is there's no validity to it. Now, one could make an argument that 1500 years ago, there may, he may have been. And I can't, I can't argue with that that he may or may not have been because there's, at the time, people were able to tell. I can't answer that 1500 years later. Because okay. even if I acknowledge he's a prophet, on the hypothesis that I believe he's a prophet for the Gentiles, doesn't make the Quran valid or, or something I can hold. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so I can't answer what you hold, what 1500 years, to, I'm, I'm 1500 years too late. I'm very interested, very interested oh, what you're saying, you know about 1500 years too late, meaning that when the Prophet was, a, was around, there could have been a possibility for you to even like, not entertain. follow him, but entertain the thought that he's a Prophet for the Gentiles. Okay, yeah, yeah that, that's, yeah. that's one of the views, I, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that. So you basically said that you cannot accept after 1500 years a prophet arrives etc right but i would say that with all due respect i think your standards have fallen as well because your first written torah is after 1500 years or 1400 years yeah but there's a difference why is it different i believe it's the i believe it's the word of god i believe the quran is the word of god oh, i do but so i i i'm not i know that but do you want me to come do you have any extent no. copies of the do you have any extent copies? No, let me answer you let okay me, go on yeah, yeah, yeah. now do, for, even if he was a prophet, we're going down the hypothetical, but he okay. was. Let's entertain the thought for a second. Okay, fine. Let me entertain that. Doesn't make, even according to Jewish law, doesn't make the Quran valid. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, uh, I think you're conflating. We say that the Quran is the verbatim Word speech of, of Allah so, that was dictated to Prophet Muhammad peace be through the angel. So we, gate, there's right? a possibility right. in Jewish tradition and law that if he was a prophet, yes. still doesn't validate the Quran. But if the prophet, don't believe in it. Wait, hang on, hang on. But can a prophet? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, 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 are you saying that the Quran is not valid because the prophet Muhammad, even though he's possibly be a true prophet, but yet you reject what he came with? What he came with? Is so, that an internal that's, instruction? That's a bit of double standard. Is that no? internal instruction? It's not, not double. Two? It's not double. Not? It's not double standard. No. It's because the validation of what because he's we acknowledge him. We acknowledge there's a chance someone may be a prophet. Okay. And we believe that there were prophets for the Gentiles. Yeah, but, I know, Balaam. Yeah, but I know, I know. It's, it's, but even the, the example you gave, no. I don't know how he talks about how he talks about him in the Quran. About but, who? Balaam. You just there's no one. What? No one. Okay, so what in Jewish tradition yeah. in the Old Testament, it clearly doesn't speak about him complimentary. Yeah, but uh, it clearly, but Job clear, is a prophet, correct? But it clearly but shows. He's a he's a, he's a Gentile. But so it clearly shows, even in the Old Testament, that Bilam wasn't true, that, we, that he, were, he went against the will of God. I know. He lied to so What about we Job? We acknowledged he was a prophet. What about Job? What? Job. What about him? Is he a prophet? Don't know. What do you mean? He is? I don't know all the prophets. He, he was a Gentile prophet. I don't know. Like, okay, you have to look into it. Job. Are you? Job. So Are you we even acknowledge, so that's something we, in the Old Testament, there was a mention of a, of a prophet for the Gentiles, Bilam. And we acknowledge that he went against the word of God. So even if you're saying Muhammad was a prophet, we still believe he could have gone against the word of God. So what? Okay, okay, fine, fine. So what? So first of all, I, I, I want to backtrack a bit and then we can then we can get to this point. So you're saying about the 1500 year timeline, right? Yeah. Okay. Now you have no extent copies of your written Torah that goes back, that traces back to the time of Moses. We have extent copies, more than 24 copies, extent copies. What do I mean by extent copies? Meaning that we have original writings and manuscripts. We have 100% of extent copies within the first century of Hijri. So if you're going to use that argument of the 1500 year timeline, yeah. you have to, you also have to better that then no what? it's not why not what? Why not? first of all the logic is sorted. i'll get back to it I'll, I'll tell you why we have a similar but because i'm not i'm not saying that between 1500 years ago and now the wording of the quran changed i'm not saying that's my issue with it i'm saying i can't comment on someone who was 1500 years ago and the only words the only scripture about but him, how can i comment uh, 3000 years ago about moses no no because i believe my scriptures are true now, i believe my scriptures i understand true. So but you're trying law. to it, I, I don't disagree about the deadline. I don't disagree. I don't think you're gonna. I'm gonna convert you over to Judaism. First of all, let me make that clear. No, no, no. I don't no, think no. that's gonna conversion. happen. I don't think that's ever happened. It's not about so, conversion. So I'll explain you. You're coming to me. With objective criteria. That's what we're trying to. Religion is objective. Don't yeah. anyone tell you. No, 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 no. But I'm pretty sure yeah. within your own 
uh, religious sources, yeah. there are objective criteria. Yes, For example, sir. what are the objective criteria to be a true prophet? There is in the Old Testament, yes, right? But let me explain yeah. why, why the 1500 years, you're taking something which I don't hold as validity, no, as, which I don't have as validity. I don't hold the Quran as validity. You know that for now. I don't take the Torah as the validity either. Which is, you're right. And I'm not here trying to convince you otherwise. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is, yeah. is that you want, me to, you want me to answer a question, was Muhammad a prophet for the gender, correct? That's what you want me to answer. No, no. I, I, I didn't ask. I can't. What, what, no, yeah. what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is this. You, you, you made the claim about the 1500-year timeline, right? No, I'm saying the 1500-year timeline means I can't comment on you if he was or not. Right, right. But we can comment. Because we have look, and you're entitled the, to your beliefs. The Quran, we look, look, yeah. we have trans, we have the oral transmission of the Quran mm -hmm. that goes back to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Our our historical um, excuse me, our historicity. Are, are you Muslim? Yes, I am. Muslim. And, and, and the, do you believe in the creator of the earth and the heaven? Yes, sorry, I'm, I'm no, not trying to. Do you believe in that? I'm Muslim too. Okay. Why, why do you agree with them? Okay, no problem. No, well, we, we are all woman. Sorry, sorry. No, no, sorry. So don't agree with them. No, we're but talking about. No, no we're not talking about. Right, no, don't worry. Arguing. No. What, look, what I'm saying is. It's a debate. debate. Brother, yeah, brother. But, but no, it's not a debate. It's, it's just a discussion. discussion. It's a discussion. We believe that God was. There was nothing more. Shouldn't, you shouldn't have answered to address your first thing. We, God Jew, you said that you have copies from the original writings. In, in the first the century history, 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 the Yemenite believe, community was very cut off from the rest many, of the world. Many, Even no, there, after when they in the 40s, when a lot of them... Sorry, check to one side. Just, don't just trying to have a conversation with you. Everything. Sorry. Everything. Sorry. Everything. You need to mention... Brother, Jazakallah Khair. Nothing comes. Mention Imran. Sorry, sorry. Do you think the yeah. So you look in the 40s, when the Yemenite Jews left Yemen and yeah. headed towards the state of Israel, like, a lot of them headed, headed to London, oh, a lot of them in Hackney, by the way. They brought over their books. They didn't have connect. They didn't have much contact with Jewish communities for two and a half thousand years. The Torah is the word to word the same. But I understand what you're saying, but the, the reason why you have so the we also have two hundred, yeah. so we have two and a half thousand yeah. years where the Torah is the exact same. No, no. The reason why you have the written Torah in the first place yeah. because of the destruction of the temple, correct? No, but the written that's, Torah. That, that, that's no, but the, the Old Testament why. was written before. You didn't have the written Torah at the time of Moses. No, but it was written. We believe that the five books of Moses were written right before they entered into Israel. Okay, Moses. but you don't have any chain of narration. You don't have any oral transmission that goes back to Moses. We do, though. You don't. We do. <clears throat> Give me one. Explain. Because we have, look, the way how the Quran is preserved, right? Yeah. The, the, you have to understand this. The, the main transmission of the Quran is oral, yeah. okay? Now, this was then manifested in text as well. We have something called the ijaza, okay? Ijaza means it's basically like a teaching license, right? So when, a, when someone who memorized the Quran, which we call a hafiz, right? When he is teaching his student, once the student has memorized the Quran, he receives a teaching license called ijaza, which means he has now the authority to teach others. We have we have the whole biography that we have the whole chain that goes back to the prophet. So we we also have a chain. Okay, so what is the chain? What in, in one of the missionaries? Sorry, brother. So, okay. Don't angry with, with some scholar. Bro brother, brother. With, with respect Jewish, respect Catholic, any religion. You have yeah. No, I have a quick way to get rid of him. Claim you Shia, I'll leave. Huh? Tell me you're Shia, he'll leave. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't people think I'm Shia. I'm not, I'm far from that. I know, but if you tell him he'll leave. <laughs> so you say there's a, there's a chain in the Mishnah? No, the, in the Mishnah, it describes the chain. They describe the chain. Okay, but, do you, but is there, because we have something called Ilmu Rijal, the biography of men, meaning yeah. we know the, the chain of narrators, their biography, yeah. and we even have our own conditions to determine whether they're authentic or not, right? right. So, so for example, uh, Imam al-Bukhari, uh, may Allah mercy him. He has five conditions that needs to be met. Who's he? Imam al Bukhari. He's now or 2005? No, this was like uh, he lived like 200, 300. He lived years over 200 prophet, years right? after now, the Quran was compiled. He, 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 he compiled. Remember that. He, co he compiled a lot of ahadith, but he filtered out. And there are many things that are not sahih, right? So he has his own condition I'm of sahih, right? So the five conditions are he has to be uh, much, you know? trustworthy. That's two people. Okay. He has to have precise accuracy in, in memory, memorization. It should not, there should be no hidden defects. I know it's several hundred years. It does not 
I think anyway. the integrity of the text. And the fifth one is, um, I think that there should be no break in in the in the chain of narration, right? Okay. So we also have rules. For example, in the Mishnah, there's certain times when 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 there was, in the Mishnah, when 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 in the in the Talmud actually in the Talmud, uh, uh, someone brings a Mishnah that isn't in the Mishnah. Okay. Which another one where a rabbi brings it and they say this with to prove a point and he says no because to become in the Mishnah you have to have three separate individuals yeah. say they individually knew it. But I'm not talking about the Mishnah. I'm talking what? about the written Torah. But we have traditions till that. So no, I'm no, no. The Mishnah, as you said, yeah. it supplements the written Torah. The, yeah, we, or the oral. We believe the written Torah was had from uh, from. Uh, no, but that's what, no, but that's what we're trying to establish. Because yeah. look, we have scribes of the Quran. So, for example, Zayd ibn Thabit. We had Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. We had Ubay ibn Ka'b. Right? They were all scribes that written during the life of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. So I'm asking about the written Torah. I'm not asking about the Mishnah. No, no, what so I'm we, asking you is we, the written no, Torah. No, so we have a, we have a tradition of who was handed down. In okay. the Mishnah. Yeah. No, no, not the Mishnah. I'm not asking about no, the Mishnah. No, no, it's, it's written in, in the, the Mishnah, Mishnah how it got to them in the first place. It's okay. written. Right, so does it go back to Moses? Yes. How? Moses gave it to um, Joshua. Yeshua. Okay. Yeshua gave it to, I don't, I don't know the whole thing by heart. But he gave and it goes through everything. No, no, no. What is the what is the methodology? Because I've already explained to you yeah. how the how the science of hadith works. The methodology works, right? is so, so, I, I, so I'm trying yeah. to understand your own science. Oral, oral tradition. Sorry, sorry. So, Moses, yeah, what? Moses, his validity in himself, right? Sorry. We believe Moses is validity in itself. If Moses gave it, it's good, right? Okay. You accept that or you don't? Sorry, we'll repeat that again. If Moses gave over what the tradition, it's good enough for you, right? No, no. You, you, you have to establish how it transmits back to Moses. No, but let's, well, let's start. Moses gave it to Joshua, Yeshua. That's according to your tradition. Yep. No, but then Yeshua gave it to what's them? It lists who they gave it to. Each of them. Why, why do you take the opinion that Moses gave it to Joshua? Because that's what the Mishnah says. Because okay. there was a student. We believe that um, there was a student. Okay, so do, so do, you, think, do, so do you think that your methodology yeah. is much more stringent and much more trustworthy than our Hadith methodology? It is. And the proof is Sorry, sir, because we have the thicker no, trustworthiness. No, we, 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 we even have uh, uh, Imam al Dahabi, may Allah bless him, he wrote a book called Siyar Adan Nubula, right? Which goes through all the chain of narration yeah. and we know the biography in and out. So we can determine if the narrator is trustworthy or we can look at the biography to determine I, that. I'll answer you like this. Do you believe that, that, the, what, that, the, the, that the sea was split for the Jews when they left Egypt? Yeah, because the Quran affirms that. What? Because the Quran affirms. And Do you believe there was the plagues in Egypt? Yes. Do you believe Moses led the Jews into into yeah, what is nowadays Israel? Right. What you what do you do you believe? No, no I do believe. But what? what I'm no, no no we're not talking about belief. We're talking about how do you come to conclusion? We're talking about we're talking about the composition of the written Torah. How do you come to the conclusion that this written Torah is ascribed back to Moses? That Moses literally wrote because the first the first recorded yeah. the, even the first name of Moses in a written yeah. is fifteen hundred years. Do you know when was the first time that Muhammad is, is mentioned? The Quran. The Quran that we have that I've already explained to you how it transmits back to the Prophet peace be upon him, right? So if you if you're going to talk about fifteen hundred year timeline, you have to you have to really level up your standard. To so our can standard. I answer that? No, ha no, why no, not? no. Why not? you're complaining two things. What am I complaining? I'm telling you that I can't comment on something from 1500 years ago. It's a practical uh, problem. Like you can't. But your, oh no. but the your, same way. But, let but me the written me. Torah. Wait, hang on. But your, wait, wait, hang on. But your written Torah. Yeah. Your first actual complete written Torah yeah. is 1500 yeah, but years. But you're missing. After you're not understanding what I'm saying. Yeah. If I would, I'm telling you, I can't you comment. You ask him. I can't comment on the Quran because on on, on Muhammad because it's 1500 years ago. My issue. That's why I can't. It's, it's nothing got to do with how old the book is. It's a simple issue. I can't comment on something that wasn't there. No, but I'm explaining to you yeah. how. The, how it transmits back to the Prophet Muhammad yeah. which we believe he received revelation from God and therefore we have the Quran we even have extent copies more than 24 extent copies of manuscripts that are within the first century Hijri right now do you have any of, of that with Moses you don't have any written Torah manuscripts that are within the lifetime of Moses the written Torah only appeared 1500 years after Moses so if you're going to, if you're going to have an issue with the timeline I think your timeline Timeline has uh, is more flaws. There are more no, flaws. You're conflating two things. And, and, and no. You're conflating faith and, and, and with reality. Time, was, but we're not talking about faith. We're talking about reality. That's what you're wrong. No, no, no. So, so, look, an atheist, an atheist can say, "I don't believe in God." 
that, no, and they have their own evidence, whatever the case. Do you use that? Like, I'll explain you why faith doesn't pay. Why reality doesn't pay matter. We're talking about historicism. We're not talking about theology. No, but, uh, but religion, my religion, theology is, is not. It does is very based on faith. But it, but it does it does comment on the historical side of things, correct? That's the reason why you have the missionary. That's why you have yes. the Yes. Uh, you're asking so why can't we comment about the historicity? Yeah. You can comment on it, but to me it doesn't no, make a no, difference. No. So why do you trust them? Why do you trust the Torah that you have today goes back to Moses? Why? Because they have tradition that, that says so. Yeah. Okay, so you tell me yeah, traces. Yeah, so what are the methodology? So What's the, you know what so the explain method? to me how exactly it transmits back to Moses. Yeah, so Just like the way how I explained yeah. how it, it transmits back to you. Want, the prophet you want facts? You want something you want something a reality? Okay. The old the new te the old testament that I use and the Yemen I use are the same, even though we didn't have contact for two and a half thousand years. Okay? We had nothing, we had no contact with them. Yeah, somehow, all the, all the, all the Hamash is the exact same. Right. Okay? So you need me to show it's true. I simple. I have another community who said they believe the same thing about me. We didn't have contact with them for two and a half years, and they said the same thing I said. That. You, you, you haven't established, look, you haven't really, with all due respect, you haven't really uh, addressed my point. I'm asking you to explain how it transmits back to Moses. Like how I explained to you, it goes how the from rabbi how it to rabbi. Right, okay, so Robert, so is there a methodology where you can determine? Because look, you can't take anyone's word for granted, right? Yes. Would you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Would you Would you take my word for it? No, yes. I, I agree. I don't trust anyone. You fully exactly brilliant. But we have that. We have that methodology in our ideas, literature, yes. right? Now, do you have this? Do you have this? This uh, science of determining if this rabbi is trustworthy or not? Yes. Okay, it's what not, is, what but is it's it? not an exact science, like you're saying. So explain, explain. What? It's okay. So back in the day, before the printing yeah, press, let's go before the printing press. Well, the first shot, the first Talmud, were printed yeah, roughly no. fifteen hundred. And printed, the printing press was 1500 in Venice, the Brunberg Shuttle. Okay, so beforehand, yes. and even afterwards, just till up to the war, till up to the war, the Holocaust, when you printed a uh, Jewish book in the front, it would be stamped by a rabbi. Okay. Okay? And an example would be is, if I was looking to buy a certain Jewish book, yeah. and I saw the stamp of a rabbi I didn't recognize, I wouldn't have bought it. Yeah. What? We're not talking about Talmud. Talmud, Talmud is no, not written by Moses. Even not, even not I'm asking about the Pentateuch. Even the, the, the Chumash. Even the Chumash. If it wasn't stamped. Okay. Let, 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 let's let's um, yeah. let's cut to the chase, right? Let's forget about the chain of narrations or whatever the case, right? Even within your own Old Testament, the Tanakh, within the first five books of Moses, right? Yeah. If you be, so you so you believe now we're talking about belief right yeah. but let's see if the reality corresponds with your belief yes. right do you believe that the Chumash, the five books of Moses Genesis Numbers Leviticus Deuteronomy uh, Deuteronomy and uh, Numbers right okay the last book of Moses Deuteronomy right do you believe this was written by Moses correct yes. okay so can you explain to me why does it record the funeral of Moses the death of Moses what? So in Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 5 to 6, it says that Moses was Moses died and was buried in Moab at the age of 120 years old. So are you saying that this aspect, this portion, was written by Moses? Yes. But it's in the past tense. What? It's in it's, it's in the past tense. Died. So so hang on, hang on. But according to your own Jewish tradition, they don't say that. They say Joshua wrote it. No, we don't. You see, no, they don't. I think you should look into it. No, they don't. I don't know whoever you Ima saw that. Imagine, yeah, I, imagine, I, imagine, I'm the author of a, of a particular book, right? No, no. Let me let me stop you. No, let me stop no, you. No, no, no. I give you enough respect to tell you. If you tell me the Quran says something, I'll hold him validity. I don't know where you saw that Joshua wrote it. We do not. The religious community do not believe that. But you just said that Moses passed the book to Joshua. Right? Yeah, but we do not believe Joshua wrote that. We believe in that is one of your opinions. It's not. There's no acceptable opinion within the religion. Religious community. Now, mm. I don't know where you heard that. Like I said, I'll give you enough faith if you don't know the Quran says, I'll take your word for it. Relook your source on this. Okay, forget about now Joshua. I know, like, the, well, you said how, do you, how, do you explain, how do you explain the death of Moses? How do you explain the recording of the death of Moses? Did you write it before he died? Did he write it before he yes. died? Where's the evidence?
<laughs> I mean, listen, yeah. you do some uh, some uh, some ritual for the fish. If I tell you, I have to kill you. <laughs> no worries, I, I accept. Tell me. I <laughs> tell me the secrets. Now, now, let, let's say, for example, let's say, for example, you say that oh, I'm a, Shabu, Shabu. Let's say, for example, you found a, a, a similar verse like this in the Quran. And you say Muhammad died at the age of 63, right? And we say it's written by Muhammad. What would be your initial response? Let's say hypothetically. Wouldn't you question? What? Okay. I'm saying hypothetically. No, and I'll tell you why. I would, I would, I would question. I would do the same thing you do now. I would understand your belief of it. I would. Okay. I would. But I would also tell you the same thing. I, I would understand why you believe it. But I'd also say I don't believe it. Now, if you're trying to prove it's not a point, question of belief. It's a question of evidence. Faith is not evidence based. I don't. I, I, with all due respect. But your evidence is based on the Old Testament. What? Your you evidence the Old is based Testament. on the Tanakh and the um, Mishnah and the yes. Midrash and the Talmud. Okay. Exactly. So why are you banning that right now? I'm, I'm, I'm just not. I'm not banning it. There's two points. Okay, go I believe on, go on, go on. the Old Testament to be true. Okay. Our Jewish laws are based on the Old Testament. No, no. But, but your belief is. I also have. Yeah. Yes. But your belief is Moses wrote down all of this Chumash, right? Correct. Okay. So, if I go to the passage, Deuteronomy. Where well, he says he died, I get that trust. No, no. It's not just died. I, I, I'll and explain. He says he died in his age and he was buried. I'm not sure what the point. I get your point. I just disagree with it. Yeah, but a dead person could not. What, what's the reasoning like behind? What's the uh, Jewish explanation for the reasoning of him foretelling his death? Because from the right, he listens. When God tells you to do something. You don't ask questions. Mm. Rule for life. Right. So that's the story that God foretold him that you will die at this day. But, but, but he knew he was dying, yes. Yeah. But you know that, that passage sounds a bit more like uh, a documentation. Right? It sounds like someone is witnessing something more than, and God told me. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't agree. It says, Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in Moab, yeah. as the Lord had said. He buried him in Moab in the valley... Me. Sorry, give me a sec. In the valley, uh, sorry, he buried him in Moab in the valley opposite Beth Peor, but to this day no one knows where his grave is. Now, does that sound like does that sound like Moses wrote this? It doesn't sound like me. God told him to write it. He wrote it. Where does it say God told him? Because we believe the entire five books are written by God. No, 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 no. Where does it say that? Because that's what we believe. No, no. Be belief is one thing. But where does how does how do you how did you deduce from this verse yeah. that God dictated to Moses to write this down? Okay, so I'll be very because we believe because we believe tradition, holy tradition. No. We exactly. And no tradition. Now, let me add tradition that. doesn't necessarily mean it corresponds to and the let me add. It doesn't of say all the, the verses, Bible yeah. Of all the verses you have an issue in the Old Testament, that should not be the top of the list. <laughs> but, what, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have more issues, which is the reason why I spoke about the transmission of the Torah, right? So, but now, within your own Pentateuch, it is a bit questionable, right? No, because we keep going in circles. I okay, like to show it says, it says no, no. Moses was 120, was, you keep, was. You can keep reading as much as time. We keep going yeah. in circles, and I'm going to finish with this because I have my friends here, I want to show okay. them around. The, okay. Israelite, believe the, the Israelites time. grieved for Moses. Yes, we believe God told them to write it. That's, fact. That's what we believe. That's what we believe. It's always great to see you. Okay. I show my friends around, maybe yeah, they no What's continue. your name, sorry? David. David. Oh, David. David. Okay. Right hard. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. Nice to meet you. Take Thank care. You. Nice to meet you. Take care.